So now I'm gonna cut the nose out. I'm using the little angled saw. Saw again to go down, follow the pattern. Should I do a little curve on the nose instead of straight? things. It's your pumpkin. So that's the nose. Now we're gonna do the other eyeball. I like using the. I like using the, the, oh, the awl, or the whatever you call it, the, yeah, the the awl, or the poker, or whatever you want to call it, to start the hole for the saw. This makes it really easy to go around the eyeballs. Oh, I cut out the circle part to cut the piece. Oh, well. I'm going to leave that part in there. And I go all the way around. I messed up. But it's still there. So this is this. Just went a little bit there, but you can't tell. You go around the eyeball on the inside to get rid of all the little shredders, the little hangy pieces that come out. Okay. So that's the face so far. I gave, him the, I gave him the crusty side where the pumpkin grows. It's a face that he can look like, you know, rough. It would have been cool to have a nice smooth all the way around, but, you know, it's it supposed character. to be scary. All right. <clears throat> so now for the mouth. Here's the outline. Put the hole through there. All the points that I need to connect. This, <clears throat> all you gotta do is just connect the dots. Okay, on the bottom. 
bite him in the mouth, I think I want to give him some crazy looking fangs. So, I'm going to go like this with this. Yeah. How about right here? No. Bite him. Give him little beaver looking teeth. Give him a little beaver looking teeth in the bottom. With a gap in the middle so the stuff gets stuck in it, like little kids' hairs that are out there behaving bad. They're trying to trick or treat and they shouldn't be trick or treating because they didn't behave. Oh, that's Santa Claus. That's the wrong holiday. I'm gonna give him an awkward looking tooth when that sticks out further than the other one. Okay. Okay, so that's cool. That'll work. Okay, and that's it. So now we're gonna cut it all the way around. I'm gonna use a big saw on this one. See how it works. How much how much material to remove? Slices right through it. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to use a little soft for the teeth. When might you use the other side of this one? It's the same type of pattern as this one. If you want to just go backwards, it's about the same. So this one would be good if you're going backwards or back and forth? You can use this or th this one or this one, but if you have you want to just use one tool, this, this should work just this as well. One, this one is double-sided. It's a little fatter, so I like this one for taking corners. So then we're covering out the teeth. The small one's better to use in closer corners. Exactly. So we got the teeth cut out, and I'm gonna go back to the big saw 
I'm gonna use a smooth side so I show you what it looks like. Now let me get in away from the tooth so I don't saw it off. Okay. Now we're gonna use a smooth side. Okay. It takes a lot more hacking to get through it on long surfaces. It is good for like cutting off the top if you want a nice smooth top. But I'm gonna use the big side because it moves through the through the meat of the pumpkin a lot faster. top the reason I use a poker to push through the holes it lets you know when to stop when you're working on a big surface area like this so you see a little spot so you know when to stop You're letting your kids use this, so just have make sure you supervise them. Because even though the sh edges aren't very sharp, if they are cutting a sharp corner on the pumpkin and they lose their grip, they can still cut themselves. They can also hurt themselves with a poker because it's a very pointy edge. Yeah. yeah. Or just have them use a little one, it'll take them a lot longer. Yeah, it'll take them a lot longer to cut with a with a small one with a smaller blade. <clears throat> okay. One more section to go, and we are done with the mouth. So I cut out the, the eyes out. I cut out his nose. The other eye, he got the wacky eyeballs with the irises pointing in different directions. I gave him some teeth, with the, like hamster-looking teeth in the bottom, like rabbit or a, or a rodent. With some fangs and now I just gotta look in the pile of uh, guts and put his uh, lid back on let me find the angle where was it right there so let's see now we'll just take it back off I forgot to put the lights in there so so now we put in the lights in there they sell the ones that flicker too. Some of them flicker. But these are just, uh, they stay on all the time. Put the lid back on. And then. Boo! Ha! 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 Boo! Ha! Ha! See, there you go. Kind of looks like the bat wing or something. I don't know. But. I want to make it look like a hamster mouth. Like evil looking. Ugh. Looks more like a Batman mouth. Yeah. That's it.
These are the tools that are all rinsed off. The scooper, the saws, the round uh, po uh, scoop thing, the angled one, and the poker. I give it two thumbs up. Check and it out. With, and the two lights inside. Oh, and it came with two lights. It came with the two lights inside there. So there goes your uh, Halloween pumpkin. Check it out. See you later. Lights out.